How did you know that you were in love? <laughs> Good question. You know that saw her, she got a, she got a nice bl blue eyes. <laughs> so I thought, well, yeah, but that love just started to, to, to grow from there. Sister Eske, how did you know? Well, for me, when I look at him, I haven't seen any other gentleman in my way. And I says, he's very quiet and I, I always want a, a quiet man. So, I says, I think this one is mine. So that's how we started it. And did you, who, who told each, so who said I love you first? Do you remember that? Uh, is that, is that for me? <laughs> any, any one of us. I don't think we have used the word love. Really? I don't think we have used the word love. Um, I think we admire one another, but we didn't use that word love. In Jamaica, it's not very rare you find a person who say to you, say, I love you directly mm. until long after even even when you marry them some of them don't even tell you that they love you that's true so was it more of action you showed action rather than just words yes mm, that's right yeah yeah so what were some of the ways that you showed each other that you loved each other <laughs> you used to send me letters oh well that's he used, to, he used to send me letters uh, i used to laugh at them and put them away yeah, so he used to write little bits and notes and mm -hmm. I, and, and he told me that he loves me. Yeah. But um, oh. as he told you two weeks ago, I was stubborn. I'm not stubborn, but I do not show... You're not stubborn. I do not show my feelings mm -hmm. that quickly. Mm -hmm. But he, he was quite open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So Brother Simon, how would you describe Sister Esket to other people? She's loving and caring, and I still love her. Aww. And how would you describe him, Sister? He's a caring man. He's a family man. Um, if he see a need of anything, he'll go and get it and give you. Uh, I must say, say for the, when I came here. I don't know if your mum ever had a man in her bedroom, but um, he went and he bought the ataman, but he didn't tell me it was mine. He said, something will be dropping here. It's for the neighbour. So when I came from work, I used to do twilight work. And so when I came in the evening, it was by my bedside. You know? And then um, another time he went and he bought me a rope and says, you, you need to, um, you want something to put your feet on oh. when I'm at my bedside. So, yes, he's a caring man. Did it take long for you guys to realise that you were for each other or was there a specific moment where you, where you just knew? Good question. It takes long. Because uh, we just grow with that love to love each other. So it just grows. It wasn't just straight away. It was just love at first sight. But it, the love grows. Mm. Yeah. I said the same. Yeah. And do you feel like you made the right decision? Oh yes I did. Even when I booked him. <laughs> yes I do. <laughs> the last one is what godly advice would you have for younger couples today? For me, I would say put God first. Mm. And um, remember to communicate with one another. Because if you don't, you'll find that one will be slipping away on one side and the other going on the other. And you don't know what caused the, the, um, the barrier between you both. But if you can communicate and find out what is wrong with the other person, then you can say, well, let us mend it by saying we are sorry. If you can say sorry, you'll find that you climbed the mountain. But it's when you started to 
you know, you find that things go the wrong way, mm. you know, so, yeah, mm. put Christ first. Mm. Yeah. Communicate. Mm. Get the advice, yes. I accept that. Communicate with each other. Because, um, you got to try and encourage one another. We all make mistakes along the line, and when you can say, I'm sorry, like she says, and we move on, and we need that, you know, yes, to commun communicate. It's the icing on the cake for us here. Yeah. Is, there, is there a scripture that you hold on to that can help, that helps with that? You want to come to me, Justice, so trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Mm. Okay, leave. that's a good one. And leave not on your own understanding. Mm. Yeah. And what does, what does that verse mean to you? Trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. That I should not think of, um, of myself, but ask God for direction, and He will direct me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, as she said, yes. Um, let's keep that trust. Because we never always get it right. Mm -hmm. So we need we need somebody to direct us. Yeah? And what we trust in Father, He will direct us. This question it's um it's almost our life because it's fifty years of marriage. And um it shows that um People cares because somebody developed it up and give it me. So yeah. Do you, it was. Do you remember this day? I never think. Or this one day. Yeah. Oh yeah. What was it like? It was good. It was good. My friends were there. Everybody was happy. We have a laugh. Yeah. You remember where you're coming from? Yeah. Every time I look at this picture and look at this this lady, <laughs> yeah, it uh, it makes me feel really blessed to have this lady fair wife for all these years. And she don't change a bit. She's just young every day and I still love her from the beginning until now. <laughs>